Special thanks to Maui Moisture for sponsoring this video. Good morning, it is Monday morning. Zaya and I are getting ready for school and for work. I actually have a full work day today. A lot of times, I'm gonna be real with y'all, if I know that I'm having more of a lazy work day, and what I mean by that is I'm just gonna be working from home behind my computer screen and nobody's gonna see me, then in that case, I normally don't get fully ready. Like, I don't even do my hair. I don't really get dressed. I'm just gonna be real. But today, I actually have like meetings, Zoom meetings, I'm shooting content. I actually have, you know, people coming over to my house to help shoot content. So I need to actually get myself together. And then of course I have to get Zaya together for school every day. But Zaya is five now, she's in kindergarten and she's gotten to the point now where she's very independent. And so when it comes to our morning routine, she's able to do a lot of things by herself. You know, I wake her up, she's able to dress herself. I normally let her pick out her own outfit even. She dresses herself, she can brush her own teeth, wash her own face, um, pretty much do her whole little routine as far as getting ready. And then from there, she can even like pack her own lunch. She can even make her own breakfast, depending on what it is. So um, she's upstairs doing that and I'm about to style my hair. But first, coffee. You guys have been asking for a hair tutorial for my finger waves ever since I first ever did that hairstyle and I never really properly did a hair tutorial, honestly because I never felt like I was enough of a master at it to really teach you guys how to do it. But I do think it has a lot to do with the products that you use. It also has a lot to do with your hair texture. So it's gonna be different for everyone depending on your hair texture. Y'all can see that my hair texture is curly. I have about a 3B-ish type curl pattern and I'm trying to grow my hair out now but it's still pretty short so I the longest part it's only like maybe two two and a half inches long but lately i've been using the maui moisture hair styling line and these products are perfect for my finger wave style at least the method that i normally do so i'm gonna start by using the frizz free shea butter leave-in conditioning mist all these Maui Moisture products are vegan and they are paraben and silicone free and they are especially made for curly, coily hair. Aloe vera is actually the first ingredient and they're just super moisturizing, super good for curly hair. So like I said, I'm starting with the leave-in mist. 
I just did like a quick co-wash on my hair when I was in the shower this morning because uh, I do need to start with damp hair for this hairstyle. And then I just like to make sure that it's moisturized with some sort of leave-in conditioner. So this is perfect. And then the star of the show, the main ingredient for my finger wave style is the foam. And I've tried a lot of different foams. I'm really liking this one right now. This one smells really good. And I feel like this one is actually like really moisturizing and good for my hair. Whereas some other foams, like styling foams that I've tried, feel very like drying on the hair. Um, so this is the Flexible Hold Coconut Milk Curl Foam Mousse. Again, aloe vera is the first ingredient, paraben free, silicone free, vegan. Um, and so this is a foam that you can use in a lot of different ways. If your hair was longer and you were just trying to like style your curls, you could definitely use it for that. But I'm using it more as a slicking styling foam. And I do use a generous amount, so don't be <laughs> alarmed but in order to get the finger wave style when you have curly hair it does take a generous amount of product to kind of slick your hair down so don't be afraid to get in there and use that product that's probably my best advice if y'all are kind of struggling with trying this hairstyle. I also feel like with the foam though, it kind of feels like you're using more product than you really are because like I've been using this for a while and I've only like made a little dent cause it's very like foamy, like it's mostly air. And then to double down on the hold and the slickness, I also like to add in some gel. So this is the Curl Quench Coconut Oil Gel and I like to just add some of this gel kind of around my edges and in the most like stubborn parts of my hair that don't normally like to slick down as easily. So like here, just kind of around the front perimeter on my sideburns. Cause usually in the front of my hair, I'll do like some little like curly Q swirly like baby hair designs. And I kind of just feel like I need some extra hold for that. So I like to use gel for that part, but I don't like to use too much gel all over my whole hair. Cause then it'll just be like really oversaturated with product just kind of around the front and also kind of a little bit around the very back where i try to like really slick down the back especially now that i'm growing my hair out it's like longer so it wants to like stick up in the back and then as i go along i continue to add foam add extra product if i need to but from here it's just all about creating the actual wave shapes in your hair but those are the three products that i use just the three maui moisture products so I'm parting my hair, finding my side part. Sometimes I go for a more like super crispy, <laughs> not crispy, but like, like I'll do the part super sharp and I'll make sure the waves are like all super even and perfect and slick. And then sometimes I go for more of like an effortless wave style. I'm feeling like today might be a little more effortless because I don't know if I have the patience to try to make it perfect this morning it is a monday morning so bear with me and it just takes practice with creating the waves like i said don't be afraid to add products so like starting on this side i just start combing it more forward towards my face like that and then i like loop it back so same kind of finger motion as when you're just kind of doing your baby hair, just a little swooping motion. But you kind of have to go over it multiple times to get the right swoop. So that's like one row of swoops. Go as far back as you can to the back of your head. And then the other, the next row is gonna go the opposite direction. So I literally like turn my comb around and swoop it in a C shape going this way, right underneath that first row and I kind of work my way backwards and then work my way back forward. And then since my hair is getting longer, I end up with these little tails in the front. So I've been like curling them up into little curls like that in the front, like little Betty Boop curls. And then the next row going back the other way. And then you can kind of get creative with the front part. And then it's the same thing on this side, but obviously this side is like starting way over here and going way across. So you just have to do more of them. Then on this one, I'm gonna start by going backwards for the first one. There's a lot of different patterns you could do depending on what you think flatters your face shape and everything. So that's like the main gist of it, you know, to get the shape going. And then honestly, for the back, 
like I said, it depends on how perfect I'm trying to make it or what, you know, if I was going to a formal event, I would definitely make sure to do perfect waves going down the back. But for today, even for like the content that I'm doing today, you're not gonna see the back of my head. So do I really need to do a whole bunch of perfect waves going down the back of my head? Not really, I kind of just, slick it down and because my hair is curly it kind of creates its own natural wave pattern anyway that's why i have this other mirror here by the way because i position it to where i can see the back of my head in this mirror pro tip um but i could do like a few little quick little to just kind of do a little something back there literally i'm just doing s shapes randomly to give it some sort of wave but i'm not i'm honestly just not I feel like another major key, you have to dry it. You have to like lock it in place, especially if your hair is curly. Your curls are gonna wanna curl up and do their own thing and it's gonna mess up the wave pattern that you created. So you have to like dry it to like lock it in place. That's one thing that I, if you try to just let it air dry, I feel like it doesn't work as well. So I recommend taking a blow dryer with a diffuser attachment. If you're a curly girl, you probably already have a diffuser attachment. But I got smart because I started doing my hair like this every single day and I got tired of holding the blow dryer. I got an actual hooded dryer. So yeah, I have this hooded dryer, which I set up in my kitchen at the bar because it's like the perfect little setup. I can sit right here and dry my hair. In the meantime, Zaya can start getting her breakfast and her lunch together. She likes to pick out her own lunch these days and her own breakfast, cause she's a big girl. lunch and her backpack and stuff together I'm just gonna throw on some clothes I will be changing clothes when it comes to like actually like making my content and stuff later I usually change outfits just for the content but as far as just like these first few zoom meetings that I have I don't need to wear anything fancy so I'm just gonna put on something decent but comfortable and then we will be heading out the door to take Zaya to school. I will be putting on sweatpants on the bottom because the good thing about Zoom meetings is that they only see you from here up. So a decent top and some jewelry and then sweatpants on the bottom. <laughs> so we're gonna go with the Old Faithful. <laughs> any makeup on and I'm not gonna put on makeup for my Zoom meetings. I mean, I just feel like my natural face is unprofessional. I don't think so. So I feel fine without putting on makeup for my meetings. As long as my hair is done, I'm dressed, you know, I'm awake, I'm put together. I don't necessarily feel like I have to put on makeup. Um, I will be putting on makeup for the content that I'm shooting later. So I'm just gonna wait on that. But this is pretty much the look. Mondays are Monday meeting days. 
I schedule all my meetings for my days pretty much. So that's usually kind of what my full day consists of is like back to back Zoom meetings with different people and different members of my team. I have my first Zoom meeting in like five minutes. So I'm kind of rushing home to get on that meeting. And then like I said, I'll probably eat breakfast after that and then get on my next meeting. Today is a little bit different though, because like I said, I am doing some content today, but it's like some, some special content, not my usual content. So I actually have people in my house, like a production crew setting up. So I'll be kind of multitasking, overseeing them setting up while also doing Zoom meetings at the same time. I have an interesting work day today. This is not my typical thing. But whenever I do these morning routine videos, it's kind of like a general gist, but honestly, every morning, every week is different for me. So kind of just have to fit in things wherever they fit in. All right, just pulled up to my house and the production crew that I was talking about is here unloading the equipment. They've got like lights and cameras and stuff for the special content that I'm working on. Like I said, today is not a normal just Monday meeting day uh, because I am working on this special content. Also, my mom is here, so she will be, I'll be meeting with her in person. Sometimes um, my mom and my sister come to my house to work because if you guys don't know, my mom is my business manager and my sister is my personal assistant. So so sometimes they come over here and I have that other office that they can work out of. Other times we just talk through Zoom and talk through Slack and stuff like that. And it's just kind of like a virtual collaboration. Um, so today my mom is here. My sister is not here. I have a Zoom meeting. I have this content going on. The people are here unloading the lights. It's kind of a lot of hoopla, but all I know is I need to get on this meeting. So um, they're actually setting up in my office so I guess I will use the mini office with my mom. I'll be sharing the mini office with my mom today. Thanks again to Maui Moisture for sponsoring this video.